Okay, smoke leak detector SD301. This is the box. Let's see what we get. Take this off. Okay. Here's what's in the box. Cone shaped adapter. That could be useful. Is. There's our hose and a fitting looks like. We'll get a look at that in a minute. A hook and this is our oil bottle. Pretty sure. So hook to hang it. Oil bottle, filler cap, another adapter, and power. Battery connector for the unit. This is it. So let's take a look at this thing. Technical data on the back, power connectors, smoke output, company name, on and off button, a couple of lights showing, I guess, when there's power and temperature, and oil in inlet, oil fill port. Right here. That's where our oil goes in there. So let's take a look at these uh, accessories. I'm not going to open that. Self explanatory. Let's see what we got here. Okay, kind of a bung, a cone, to block up uh, whatever it is we're going to block up, our exhaust pipe, uh, for one thing. This bag has our hose. A Velcro strap, I like that. Keep the hose tidy. Oh, there we go. Okay. There's our nozzle. And that's going to connect to the port on the back. Our leads for power, car battery, and RCA jack looking type connectors for the back. And finally, I am going to open it after all. Hook to hang the unit, I assume goes in there. Yep, looks like it. Our oil bottle. It's recommended to use like baby oil. And this adapter here, which I'm going to. Oh, that fits on the end of the hose right there. I'm not sure what's hooking up to here. So let me look a little further and see how we would adapt this. Oh, I guess just like that. And this adapter fits on the end of the hose. I guess if you want to hold it or shove it into something, um, you might use this. All right, let's see how it works in practice. That's the unboxing, and that's what we got. Okay, let's see how our smoke leak detector works. Remember, we've got our on-off button on the side. Uh, a couple of indicator lights on there. I've discovered this one turns on when power is applied. This one only turns on if the temperature gets too hot. 
um, according to the manual. So you've got your leads, I've got my positive hooked up. I've also discovered that as soon as you connect the ground, this unit turns on. And then when you press the on off switch, it makes smoke. So a little weird at first. Uh, I've got the hose run to where my map sensor was. I've taken the map sensor out um, because I want to test from there back. I didn't want to disconnect any of the other lines because I'd like to include them in the test. So let's see how this works and how much smoke this thing makes. And here we go. Okay, now it's running. You can hear the noise and see the light. A red light on there. And our button on the side for making smoke. The load on the motor seemed to change a little bit. You could hear it pitch down. Uh, let's see what kind of smoke we're getting. So starting already, uh, it's actually quite a little bit of pressure. So I'm not going to shove it in there tight. I just put some electrical tape around there to fill up the hole. So you can see we're getting quite a bit of smoke. And again, I'm not going to put it in there super tight. I'm worried about pressure build up. So there we go. So the unit's on, it's running. It really produced smoke quite quickly. And that's the volume of smoke we're getting. Like I said, seems like a bit of pressure. You can hear the... So I guess the higher the pressure, the more effort on the motor. So there we go. Ah, <coughs> smoke everywhere. Anyway, works as advertised. Easy to use, comes with an adapter for the exhaust. I would prefer if a switch was included that turned it off and on instead of it automatically coming on when you connect. However, that's the only gripe. Maybe if it had a pressure gauge so you could see how much pressure you're putting in there. And this actually got uh, found a leak on my EGR valve, so that's a different story.